Academy of Islamic Propagation. Akadir. I'm about to ask something for you. Yeah. Uh, all praises and adorations belongs to none but Allah. Um, I officially welcome my brother, Brother Simon. You're welcome. Because uh, I must say, I actually channeled his uh, mission to this place. Am I correct? You're not talking, right? Brother Simon, please kindly dust. Help me dust something in your mouth, yeah? I actually deceived you to do that. Do you know why? I want you to dust the lies you packed in that mouth. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You see this brother, two years ago, he was at Natsfat. We had a similar lecture like this at Natsfat. He was there, right? So emotional, shaking, misquoting the Quran. And he thought, by now, we might have forgotten about him. We might not even remember him. So, on the 22nd of June, 2016, it was on Wednesday, Brother Simon put a call to me. He said, Salamu Alaikum, pretending to be a Muslim. And I replied, okay. He proceeded and said, yes, my name is Simon, and I'm calling you from Abuja. Uh, well, I want you to speak in one of the Yusuf Adekwaju's lectures, and I have some questions to ask you, because you are, you are attacking us. You are, you, are, you are against our faith. And I said, Brother Simon, please calm down. We are not fighting. What exactly is the question? He said, um, well, you said the Boko Harams are using some verses in our Bible. You said the Bible contains contradiction. If I'm wrong, you can, you can cut in. So, and I said, oh, okay, Brother Simon, calm down. Something led to that. There's nothing we will say without evidence. And if you check your Bible, you'll definitely meet it there. He said, okay, I would love to meet the Ustaz Yusuf Adekwaju. Still under pretense, right? As if he hasn't met him before. And I said, oh, you're welcome. Now, let me chip in this. Bro, Simon acted as somebody that is so lean, so unaware, so uninformed, speaking to me. As if he's one Christian that doesn't know anything. Hoping and willing to embrace the truth if eventually he finds it. But then I knew it, he was pretending. So I was just laughing until he channels his way. He said, Please let me have Ustaz Yusuf Adekwaju's contact. I sent it to him. I also want somebody called Lucas Samson. I said, Yes, he was a Christian. Myself, I was a Christian. And I have the light today. We are both Muslims. He said, Oh, let me have his contact. I sent it to him. So, so he began, he began to, to channel his way, his way spoke, spoke with Yusuf. More of his, you know, chat was with Yusuf Adepoju because he wants to appear on camera. He wants to have a debate with him. And I was laughing. You see, uh, let Muhammad Ali, may Allah be pleased with this. So if I was an amateur boxer and I had an encounter with him, it would actually add to my credentials because my generations to come, I'll be telling them that, look, you know, Muhammad Ali, I was, I was fought with him. Even though Muhammad Ali might just give me one blow and I'll die. So, so that, that is, is the case of Mr. Desire. desire. You are you desire. desire. You used to you be used desire, desire barminers. And I will not I go deep into that. that. I, want I want somebody to play the conversation, the conversation between, between you, you and myself. myself. In media, yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. electronics, yeah. there's something called uh, actuality. Okay? When somebody talks and he wants to deny, you bring it, you bring you bring in the voice. So somebody please relay that conversation for everybody to listen to it right now. And probably after that conversation, I'll drop the microphone and I'll give him a chance to go on with his debate. You are welcome. Simon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Okay. And uh, I've uh, seen your the audios of uh Mama uh uh are they pudding? That's correct. Yes, and uh, I see how he, I can see how he criticized Christianity. He did what? How he is criticizing Christianity and all that. Okay. Are you uh, MAN? Oh, yes, I am. 
Yes, I've just liked your page and uh, I've just uh, I found this number on your page. You, you say what? One of your pages is that I go to Snapchat. Okay, one of my pages. Uh, your page on Facebook. I got this number on your page on Facebook. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, because somebody told me that uh, uh, your name is any, uh, any, is it Ahmad, any? You're correct, any. So, uh, I, so I tapped it and I uh, tried and I uh, saw your page. Mm. I'm about to send this one request now. Okay. Uh, please, uh, the way your, your, your guy is uh, criticizing Christianity, is he right like that? Is he good like that? Um, are you in Abuja, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. I, I will, I will respond to your question. Um, it is not criticism. Okay. Yes. But if if you see it that way, you may be correct because uh, you see it as an attack on your faith. You understand me? Okay. It is not an attack on your personality. And it is neither an attack on your faith because there's nothing he has said or mentioned without evidences or references. And if you think he's wrong, I think uh, you just come up with some corrections, all right? But for me, I think if you have an open mind, you will definitely grab one or two messages that are correct from all that he'll be saying. So it is not critics per se, it's not outside there to condemn or you know, attack Christianity, so to speak. Uh, please, uh, I would like to see him face to face because uh, with my little understanding about my Christian faith, mm -hmm. I think he's uh, misunderstanding, misunderstanding the whole thing. Okay, can you, uh, hello, sir. Hello? Can you, can you just come up with one or two things you think is not correct from what you've been saying? He said that there's contradiction in the Bible. Yes. You understand? Yes. He said there's contradiction in the Bible. He said, uh, he said they uh, are both around. He said they are using the Bible. They are using the Bible to operate. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, let, me, let me say something here, my dear brother. Um, okay. One, one thing I want you to understand is you should, you should just devoid this sentiment, first of all, you right, from your mind. So you come here and I be here. I said you should erase any element of sentiment or uh, you know, uh, emotions from your mind. Okay? Now, from what you said, I want to chip in something there. Do you agree that the Bible contains contradiction? The Bible? Yes. Uh, you know, the Bible is a, is a this thing. The Bible was written by human beings. You understand me? It's the word of God. I know. I just asked. You understand me? You know? I understand. Uh, listen, sir. Okay. Listen. Okay. I understand that we all humans are fallible. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, you heard yourself, all right? He actually confirmed that day that, yes, the Bible contains contradictions. Why? Because it is the handiwork of human beings, okay? He further praised that the Boko Haram are using the Quran. And I gave him a chapter in a verse where Allah says, whoever kills a soul, it is as though you have killed the whole world. And he was marveled at that recite, I mean, that, that quotation. If I'm lying, you can correct me. He said, oh, are you quoting from the Quran? I said, yes. That audio is a very lengthy one. And uh, maybe because of time, I have to just fade, I mean, fade it off, all right? Now, Mr. Barminas, I just have one advice for you. After this debate, should lecture, please send the video to Korede and Isang, your sponsors. I'm very much aware of your plans and your tactics. Wallahi, I am very much aware. Send it to them. Let, 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 let them edit. Let them make money for you, okay? Do it. And one thing I want to assure you about is if you fail to die as a Muslim, honestly, all the money, all the cars, all the houses, you will not take them to paradise. And your final abode, should you die in this, your way of this city, it's a pity, it's hellfire. Let me draw the curtain here. Subhanahu rabbika rabbil izati ya mayasifun wa salamu alam shalhamdillahi rabbil alam. According to the Islamic sources, it say that the Muhammad got married to Aisha at the age of six and consummated the marriage with her at the age of 54 years. 
That was a consummated the marriage with Asori at the age of nine. And the Muslims are to emulate Muhammad, are to follow the examples of Muhammad. I'm surprised I I've never seen a Muslim who got married to a six year old child like his own prophet and consummated the marriage with that man. Please let with, us with be that silent. Girl at the age of six. So I am surprised. That is why I'm here to ask. That was my first question. I'm asking Ustaj to tell me why is it that Muslims are not emulating their prophet by marrying six year old children and having cons consummated marriage by having intercourse with them at the age of nine? Why is it so? And you are to emulate the prophet. Why is it so, sir? Thank you. My brother, do you know why we are not following that? Do you know why? Go ahead. Because, because you Christians, Christians, you are married, and, and Jesus Christ never married. Jesus Christ, now you have not answered my question. You understand? If I can say you have not answered my question, you said Jesus Christ don't marry, right? Jesus Christ don't marry. We believe that Jesus Christ is God in flesh. You understand me? And his purpose of coming to this world is not to get married, but to save us. Luke chapter 2, verse 36. It reads, Now there was one Anna in the Bible, a prophetess, a prophetess, the daughter of Panor of the tribe of Asher. Please listen. She was of a great age and had lived with a, a husband, husband seven years, years from her virginity. virginity. Seven, seven years, years from her virginity. Are your daughters, daughters practicing this? <laughs> Let me read it. It is a. Now, there was one Anna. A prophetess, the daughter of Penua, pa Panuel, of the tribe of Please. Asher, she was of a great age and had lived with the husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 80, 80, what, 84 years, who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayers. Very night good, a prophetess. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, the first thing I would like to say is uh, I will be harsh in this stance. You guys, all of you that came, you are not people supposed to be dialogued with because you are a group of empty headed rascals. You are have no skills. I am well acquainted with you, and this is what this is. Mm, wait. You came with uh, a cameraman, right? When you talk, you say, you say record. record when you are getting, when you are getting response, response you say no, you say no. don't record, don't record. Right. right wait, wait. Do, you know do you know what see, see. we muslims, muslims believe dawah is 99 percent allah's mercy one percent human effort allah's banwatala guides whomsoever he wills if we use an hour five years to talk to you if you are not going to be a muslim you are not going to be a muslim and that is why we are not going to be corny we are not going to be deceptive, we are not going to be satanic, we are not going to be malicious, we are not going to be snakish in our endeavors. This is what you do. For example, Koredeh did this to me some times ago. If I say, Mr. Wale said Mr. Bashir is mad, then you are going to remove that Mr. Wale said. You will now remove Mr. Bashir is mad. And then you will now say, Lucas Samson says Mr. Bashir is mad. And then you put this on YouTube, you do this, but then you know what? I they wanted to stop that guy from recording and doing what you're doing. I said continue. Thousands of people are watching. They are watching. See, it's going like like so they are watching us. They are watching us. So keep it up. Okay? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey job, be silent. Amy Remo and Wajui, what you call your red life for 59 years. Teba lost him on YouTube. English. Every um, um, academic uh, material, Simbe, Tom Kosibe, Larry, one 
about uh, 26. La rien. Only control what they call Sibe. One need the wife at the, I mean, the uh, wife uh, you serve at the point. What are you doing in church? So I want to be paying Yahweh you serve at the point. You no lost the church. One what that look at church? Yeah. One what the symbol? Can last on? One what the symbol? Tap on the YouTube. Let me YouTube. Erin be. Oh she want me to teach this thing. You run down she yeah. Mr. Simon, what they were telling you? He was defending his own materials and he was using Bible here and opening the Bible here. He wasn't quoting from any telephone. So you can also carry the Bible and read it yourself. I can put anything on the telephone and come and correct the answer. Because they are recording. The recording will be showing as if that thing is authentic. The authenticity of what you are saying. Bring the adit, the book of it. And as they are opening the Bible, the Bible and Quran here, Allah Come Allah and Allah show Allah. it here. That is what they are telling you. And stop and, and, and let me let me warn you, my dear brother. Let me warn you. Now, now today, I'm 72 years old. And I'm sure you are not yet up to 59 years. Be careful. Be careful. Because you are protecting your day of salvation. Wallahi wa rabbi likaaba Somebody is as tall as Alaji, Alaji stand up please As tall as Alaji His room is close to my room in Malaysia So when we met The first time he, he came to our uh, Our block Then we did introduction So he now asked me from where I said from Nigeria I asked him he's from Palestine As tall as this He asked me how, is, how, how old are you I said about 40 I asked him how Jaru, he said, I'm 25 years. I said, so if not that I married, early, I mean, lately, I am enough to be your father. 25 years as tall as this. So you cannot imagine the rate at which people grow at that time and the rate at which people grow at this time. Even you cannot imagine the rate at, the way at rate people will continue to grow 10 years or 15 years to come. So Aisha was a minor, she was not matured when they married her and she was left untouched until when we, she became matured at nine years of that very time. That time and of that very area of the world. Until when you go to that area of the world, I'm talking about a guy from Palestine. Palestine as tall as this, 25 years. Some of them were like 20 years and tall, huge, 20 years. And me, if, if, if somebody told me, eh, maybe your age should be like 22, I said, ah, you are welcome. My teacher, my doctor told me, you know, we were in the class, a Malaysian doctor told me, when we were doing introduction the first time. So people were saying, how old are you? I want to say 18, 19, 20. When it was my, my turn, I kept quiet. He said, uh, Abdul Ghani, how old are you? I said, sir, can you guess? Say maybe 23, 24. I said, you try, sir. Because that is the rate of their own. That is their own rate of growth. So when I told him my age, he was just trying to look for maybe white, gray, looking for so, so. When, when you cannot see, say, ah, are, you, are you serious? I said, yeah, this is my age. So you cannot tell and you cannot compare everyone everywhere in the world to have the same growth. That's number one. Then number two, because I learned, uh, we start brought uh, a verse of Bible, giving the similar thing, but the man rejected to listen to that. That's why I say we don't mind if they are not ready to listen today. We pray that they listen tomorrow, inshallah. But we need to understand all these misconceptions, they are nothing, all these fallacies, they are nothing in Islam. Aisha was full lady before the marriage was consummated with Allah. Allah. So we use this medium to implore and request from our Christian fellows that please and please for God's sake, if you are coming to the debate, please go and do research. Please go for proper research. We enjoy it. Proper research. You don't come with peripheral facts. Proper research. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's a historical fact. 
that girls from the ages of 9 to 14 were married in Europe, Asia, Africa, and America. For example, St. Augustine, 350 of the Christian era, married a girl who was 10 years old. King Richard II, 1400 AD, married a seven-year-old girl. Henry VIII married a six-year-old lady. Even in the Bible, it says, but save from yourself every girl who has never who has never slept with a man. Numbers chapter 31 verse 17. Then according to Catholic Encyclopedia, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was 12 years when she married a 99-year-old Joseph. Allahu Akbar. And they will not castigate Mary for that. Before 1929, Church of England ministers could marry 12 years old ladies in Britain. And so on and so forth. May Allah say for. Salamu alaikum Alhaji Yusuf Adepoju Ene ama jami yu ima Lukman Basur Samson Lucas And all the members Of Akadib Ma the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ Be upon you all I want to apologize for my actions, what I did was wrong and completely wrong. And I seek for all of your forgiveness to forgive me for my actions. And I apologize to all of you, the academic members, whom I have maybe wronged in one way or the other. I'm very, very sorry for that. What I did was wrong and was completely wrong. I lied to you guys. I used deception. That was wrong. I love you all members of Akadi with all my heart. I have no grudge against anyone. What I did was wrong and I sincerely apologize for that. Thank you all for listening. My name is Simon Diminas. Thank you.